the power of forgiveness. The power of forgiveness is the only means with God, our beloved Father, who has so much love for us, has given us as a tool, as a means to liberate us totally from any sufferings, might it be death, bad circumstances, diseases, for everything. And the voice for forgiveness is the Holy Spirit in us, which God Father has given to each and every child to guide us home out of the world of separation, of death, of darkness. Actually, we don't have to forgive anything because we are still as God has created us. But in this world of dreams, in this noisy, terrible, conflicted world, full of death and sufferings and darkness and yells and cries, we believe to be something which we are not. And guided by the ego thinking system, we are really in a prison, in a mental prison. So we need forgiveness to ourselves and to all our brothers. In the eternal reality, all our brothers have always left, uh, loved us and we loved them and we loved together our creation and loved the Father. But here in this world of dreams, we have to undo what we made. We have to undo all the illusions, all the projected pictures, and transcend them with the power of forgiveness. So what does the power of forgiveness do? And practically, guided by the Holy Spirit, who sees myself and everyone else as a holy son of God, as a holy self, as a Christ, you can say, in full beauty. And this is still there in every spirit. So with this consciousness, we learn a new perception. If somebody attacks us, we don't go against him, but we understand that his attack, his anger, is only a cry for love. He wants love. So we are answering to this question, to this demand, with forgiveness. We give him the cooperation to awaken from the wrong self-concept of the ego and to come back to the realization to be that beautiful being, the Holy Son of God, free of guilt. So anything somebody has done, we don't take it for granted. He has done something bad. No, with the Holy Spirit, we forgive what he has not done. We see him where he really is, in the mind of God, only in a dormant stage. We see him as God has created him, free of guilt, free of the past, free of sins. In this way, we forgive our brothers, and what we give, we get. We forgive ourselves. When you understand the a process of this dream. What we see here in the dream is practically we see constantly our own projections. We have projected bodies, animals, anything here is a projected picture. So what we see are our projected judgments. So when we see something bad, it must be in our spirit, otherwise we wouldn't see it. The Holy Spirit does not see it in this way. He only sees the pure, holy Son of God in everyone. Even though he is aware that this one is sleeping and dreaming of terrible things, of murder, of diseases, of death. So with the cooperation of the Holy Spirit in us, the voice of forgiveness, the voice of our true holy self, we are able to forgive everything and anything here and undo it again so that the pure world, the real world of God is shining through all our projections. So beyond this world, this physical work of projections, here 
in the holy instant, we can feel and see with our inner eye the world of truth, the world of love, the world which we can see when we forgive totally. So our work here is to liberate our own spirit and the spirit of all our other brothers from all errors, step by step. Anything we see, we look at it with forgiveness and see beyond. Anything negative but also positive, what we judge positive, has to be forgiven. The forgiveness is transcending the whole thinking system of the ego, of separation and death, and unites my spirit with all my brothers, accepts that we are one, which never has changed. And when I understand that I cannot live alone, but I'm living with everyone, we are one being all together, and life is oneness. So I can understand that when I forgive anyone else, I forgive myself. I just take back a projected part of me and integrate it in me as my holy self. I can see in every brother myself and with a vision of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Self in me, I will see God's creation, the beauty in everyone. So forgiveness is a means to transcend totally this world of death and sufferings and to enlighten my own spirit and cooperate everyone else. Any suffering, doesn't matter what it is, is due to the lack of forgiveness. So one who is really forgiving in the sense to see in everyone the Holy Son of God and to take away all the errors out of his mind and the other mind. He will be full of happiness and joy. The ones who do not forgive and believe that when somebody has done something negative, this is real, is in chains and has to suffer. So our aim is to look beyond all this doing with the help of the Holy Spirit in us. Alone we could not do this, impossible. So you might ask when somebody, for example, is killing another one, how can I forgive this? Well, this is only a dream in which you are. And what you see it not, is not real at all. On the level of eternal reality, it has not happened. So yes, you can forgive this. And when you realize that every thought which you have, which is negative against another brother, is practically imprisoning the other brother and killing him and yourself, because what you give, you get. So when somebody is physically killing another one, well, I don't want to discuss this topic, but all thoughts which are negative against myself and others are tools to kill. My belief that death is real is killing myself and all my brothers. So when I'm listening to the ego thinking system, I'm constantly attacking myself and everyone else. And when I'm listening to the voice of forgiveness, to the Holy Spirit in me, seeing in me and everyone else the Holy Son of God, the Christ, the beauty, with this true reasoning and understanding of the eternal reality, I liberate everyone to eternal joy and life. Thank you for listening.